Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. And we're back with Eleanor. So last time we ended that big case and we can get purple shit that is sorry. And now we are advice. Well, I don't even know what does it mean, but okay. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? Oh we have different uh, No, oh, nice. my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing it goodbye all over Central Avenue. Let's see what we have in place. Ah, why not? Uh, Cost me a fortune, you moron. Thank you. Tommy gun. Hey, where you going? Detective Phelps, I got the call for assistance. Who are the suspects? Bank robbers. Same gang that took the Citizens National Trust in savings last month. That was easy. <laughs> Only one guy died. They let the rest of the guys there, I guess. No room for that. <laughs> Face. Okay, let's get back to the 
will jump. Oh, and that too, you know what I want to say. Oh yeah, this music. Pretty sure this will be probably copyrighted. Right Always oh, saw this. And it's still like. Oh, let's see what what about this dead uh, neighbors. I feel like I have been in this place before. They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. I swear, this Come on, Dunn. going straight to hell. You're show sure now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever dope. since Jimmy Utley started the long walk. Some point. dope, man. Talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants a license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? Yeah, shut up, fucking boy. Fucking bitch. Ooh, that's cute. <coughs> Took his jolt and drifted off. Can I use some? And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. What the fuck I did he injure three times with only two needles? Okay, that doesn't matter. Some kind of fruit, a bell, and wind. Strange doodle. Anything interesting? One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Small chance in life is probably Another better day, than no chance. Than that chick is up, Karn. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street.
the street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. No, I would have checked. Special order from the Caesar. Another day, another dollar. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I'm pretty sure he's gonna run us over. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Bro, what is Get that son of a bitch. That guy fucking looks like the actor. I don't know what he's called. Or maybe he's. Well, at least I'm running. There's no pistol. He's, of course, he's. Of course, he's gonna find on the fucking roof. <laughs> this shit's fine. He could just fucking wait for me and knock me down, I mean, so... Nice barrel. Animals. Yeah, come here, come here, come here, boy. Oh, All right, one, two. You really want to dance? Zero fucking damage. Quit dancing around and hit me. Oopsie, you're a wise guy. Making me and my partner. Finish him, uppercut. How are we supposed to know you were cut? What's your name? Morgan. Freeman. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Mm -hmm. Be very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. That's the cop from the newspaper. I'm always the cup from newspaper. Oh, we have the goodies here. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Be 
stamped on the reverse by the issuer. I don't know. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. I mean, cook those fucking Krabby Patty. I'm working the food truck now. You're a real asshole, you know that? Yeah, pretty much, man. Oh, full of dope. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. That was... Whoa! Easy! About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. Black eyed peas? You fucking liar. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're gonna go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 look, I, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane, goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Wait, you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. <laughs> I heard he's an honest cop. Okay, guys, I'm gonna keep this kind of short. So I'll end it here. Bye. See you next one.